Good day, Sony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Today I want to show you how to upgrade on a Net Ally Link Runner G2. The reason why I'm going through this is because I will be using this tool a lot in the next few videos. The first thing you need to do when you pick up your tool is make sure that it's latest firmware, latest software, latest patches, whatever the tool happens to need, please make sure it's current. Okay, so number one, uh, the tool is here, it's mirrored to my computer and it's an Android device if you did not know that. So in the NetAlly App Store, I installed an app called My Phone Explorer. My Phone Explorer allows you to sync up your Android phone with your address book and all that cool stuff, but it also allows you to mirror. I already use this software for my Android phone, my personal phone, so it didn't take much for me to just install the app on the phone, plug it into my network, run the app, it found it, and it used its Ethernet address to connect to the unit itself. So this is what we see. Now if I click on it though, it will not control it because I don't have it USB connected, and that's fine. Okay, I don't need it USB connected right now. So I'm going to be tapping on the tool and you'll see the results on the screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move down and click on the circle here and then there's the gear for the settings and then if I scroll all the way to the bottom you'll see about tester right where the mouse is right now and you see it actually tells you the build number 2.0030 and it says check for updates. That's what it says at the top. I'm going to tap that. Off it goes. It tells me the current version, which we just saw. Check for updates. And it says it's a new version, 3.0. Well, that's quite the leap. I'm going to hit. So new version. I'm going to tap that. And I'm going to hit download. And off it goes to the races. Um, I got a pretty quick connection here, so this should not take that long, even though it's a 369 meg file. I've got gig in the office, so it should come down pretty quick. So this is something you should do with all your tools. Uh, this is uh, I got a few regular customers I go to. The first time I do, uh, the first thing I do when I pick up the tools out of the closet is I ask the guys when's the last time we updated this. Uh, then we find out they're not registered, or the guy who registered doesn't work there anymore. So we have to reset all that stuff up. Maybe they don't have a support program. We get them back on the support program. All that kind of stuff. You need to make sure your tools are ready to go right don't don't leave them for years on end in some closet and then try to figure it out uh, when you get a when you get a problem to use the tools right all right so this is pretty well done now and I just did a little bit of yapping there so that's now it's verifying the file as you can see make sure it's not corrupted and stuff like that and then let's see what we get so I'll be honest with you it's the first time I've ever updated the software on a link runner so I'm kinda curious to see what it does as well if it takes another couple of more seconds I'll hit the pause button and come back to the video when it's done verifying there we go it's done verifying and now we have the install option by the way it was only like another 30 seconds or more I just didn't want you sitting there waiting so I'm gonna hit install I keep instinctively trying to tap the screen and forget that I can't do that and now it's going to pretend to prepare, not pretend, to do the update. Obviously, it's going to restart the operating system. And as soon as it comes back, I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so the Link Runner's done its update. We're back to the main screen. It just rebooted. On the bottom of the screen here, you'll see a circle. That'll get us back to the main screen. I'm going to hit the gear again. And I'm going to scroll to the bottom. And you'll see About Tester and now it should say version 3, 3.002. Neat. So basically that only took two or three minutes. It was the first time I ever did it and it was fairly painless. So now I'm going to do my other one. Have a good day folks. Bye for now.